Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to Red Lentil Healing. So I want to take a look at, um, will it ever come out? Will the truth of who is actually causing the damage, doing the violent protesting, causing the looting and damage, will the truth of who is actually behind this, the mastermind behind this, the people, the players doing it, will the truth of that ever come out? Now, mind you, You've got the governor of Minnesota who's already trying to, trying to claim this is Antifa and people from, the, from outside of Minnesota coming in, and that has already starting to be debunked. You've got govern, um, mayors like Keisha Lance Bottoms who is saying that, kind of sing, singing a similar tune to what the governor of Minnesota said, like this is not people who are from Atlanta, who live in the neighborhood, who are destroying. You also have um, footage of that was played on the local news of the skateboarder who was um, not a person of color, who was a young white gentleman who bashed in the window of CNN with a skateboard. Some people have even tried to zoom in on the skateboard and found some uh, potential neo-Nazi uh, paraphernalia on the skateboard. You also have people who have eyewitness accounts who um, like a, who are trying to tell what they're experiencing in the streets, like a good friend of mine who lives in Dallas, who was out walking her dog Saturday evening um, and saw a group of neo-Nazis, they were skinheads dressed in all black with their um, doing hand gestures and actually causing some property damage around her her neighborhood um so i want to know because here is the truth of who's causing who's who's behind this who's causing this is this ever going to come out in mass will we have will we get the answer to who is who's behind who's behind this let's just take a quick look and see Who is the mastermind? Will the mastermind of this actually, that's the question I really want to ask, ever come out? So let's take a quick look. So first we have the magician. So somebody of resource, also somebody kind of sneaky sleight of hand in the background. Crossed by the um, crossed by the wheel of fortune. So again, um, cyclical something coming to fruition, coming out in the open um, and serving its purpose and its process. At the end, um, at the base, we get the ten of swords. The ten of swords is usually a no card for me. So, but let's keep going. Um, some so something um, a death, some major change. Uh, followed by the emperor. I believe this is whoever is up to this is actually whoever's behind this is an actual male. There are rumors that some of this is uh, was planned in advance um, by Russia, so maybe that could be Vladdy himself. Uh, this is the third time I've done this reading reading on this, and this is the and this is the third time I've gotten the Knight of Cups. So empty promises. Um, and then the Ace of Cups at the end. So stirring up a lot of emotion. So this was a plan set in motion by a male to stir up emotions and um, the empty promises that are coming from this. And I do believe that we will never get the answer because if again, um, at the, <laughs> the whole root of this is the magician. So that sleight of hand, somebody in the background. Um, and at the base of this is, you know, an, the base and the crown of this is the the ten of swords so that death that ending that no that hiding and then the um the empty promises at the top of the knight of cups so unfortunately we're not going to know the truth about who is planning this which is sad because let's talk about this for three different reasons reason number one why this is sad is we need to know the truth there are a lot of people, myself included, who are a little nervous to leave the house right now because what I don't want is somebody 
to think that, lo and behold, I need to go to the grocery store and it's starting to get dark outside. Somebody thinking that I am now going to be doing something, have ill intent, when all I'm trying to do is just be my, be my lovely little self out in the streets. Number two, there is blame being placed everywhere else um, and it's causing so much additional strife, sadness, stress, and turmoil in these communities. These communities need to know who's responsible so they can stop being afraid. It's hard always looking over your shoulder and not knowing who's going to be the cause of something ill towards you, towards your neighborhood, towards your family. Not to mention it is taking away all of the positive that could be coming from the daytime peaceful protests that's being overshadowed by what's going on at night by these actors who are out working on behalf of this emperor, this person of darkness, this dark magic. Third and lastly, these people need to be held accountable so this can stop. We can't stop it until we know who's truly behind it and stopping them. All right, once again, another damn shame. So the next video, guys, take care of yourself so we can take care of others, so we can take care of Mama Earth because she really needs us to take care of ourselves and take care of our communities right now. All right, bye, guys.